Hello everyone, so today's tutorial, 1st of 2019, is based on a look that um, my favourite artist in the world, Cherie Morris, she's in Australia. Um, she's just amazing, I feel like we have a similar style. Um, she's just uploaded a look on a client and it's pink and Barbie, so I thought I need to use pink right now, even though it stains your eyes, believe it or not. So yeah, here's a little pinky look. Um, Instead of doing normal talking when I'm doing the makeup, this time I thought it'd be better if I do a voiceover after I've uploaded it so I can maybe describe more what I'm doing instead of concentrating too much on actually doing the makeup. So um, yeah, I've, um, I think I'm going to use different software to upload this video so hopefully we keep it in the HD because it's a good camera I've got so it shouldn't be losing the thingy but because I'm using iMovie it drops all the quality when you upload it to um, YouTube. So hopefully this video is much clearer than the rest. If not, I'm gonna lose my mind. Enjoy watching, bye. So first of all, I'm gonna start concealing my eyes with Revolution Conceal and Define and my regular crown brush, flat brush, and just pack all the product into my lids to create a flat base for my eyeshadow. So once I'm happy with the amount of product on my eyes, I'm going to use a 142 Concealer Buffer Brush by Zoeva Cosmetics. But don't worry if you don't have the right type of brush, you can actually use your finger to do this. So I need to blend the concealer and the foundation together. So for this look, I'm using the 39A Morphe palette and it's the Dare to Create one and it's full of amazing colors. And I'm going to use this pink right here to put down my first color. And the brush I'm using to do this is the Zoeva Lux Crease 228 brush and also the MAC 227 brush. And I'm just going between the two brushes to create that crease color and at the same time blending it out with a brush that has no product on it. So the next color I'm going to use is the, a deep maroony color from the same palette and I'm going to use a tiny crease brush and it's a C528 brush by Crown. I'm now going to take an Inglot pigment and this is number 86 AMC Pure Pigment Eyeshadow. I'm going to use the same brush and a bit of Fix Plus spray just to pack the glitter onto the eye. I'm now just using the same colors that I used at the start, but on my lower lash line, and I'm using a Lux Pencil Brush by Zoeva. Use any fluffy brush just to blend out the lower lash line and give it a more blurred effect. After that, I'm gonna take some Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just apply that before I apply my lashes. The lashes I'm using here are So Sue by Susan Jackson and they're called Holly. And once I've popped them on, I'm just going to add some Kat Von D Trooper liner. To finish off, I'm going to use some Makeup Geek Black Light. It's a duo pigment and I'm going to add it to the inner corner of my eyes with a little flat brush. To finish off my look, I'm going to highlight with some NYX Cosmetics Strobe of Genius and a crown brush, it's the C529 and it's my favorite for doing a highlight. 
And that's my finished look. And I hope you learned something today from watching this. And thank you for watching.